So let's create a addition command line program with Rust. So what is this? So if I say cargo run add and it's going to ask for first number, then it's going to ask for second number and boom, we have the sum. But not this. If we just say, hey, I have 45 and I have 55, give me the result. The sum is 100. So let's create this kind of program. So welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and we are going to use the environment and getting something from the environment in Rust. So let's get started. The very first thing we need to do is to read whatever we write after the cargo run. How we can do that? Let's see. So first of all, I'm going to create a variable called args and then we are going to use env. And then from there, we get the arcs and then we are going to collect this env into this argument in the form of vectors. Let's see. So we say collect, uh, not two times, just collect like this. And now we need to provide the type. So this is going to be a vector type of a string. So it's a, a string vector, simple, that's it. Now, what I'm going to do just to show you what we are actually getting, I'm going to say, hey, this is arcs and uh, let's go into debug mode. And uh, if we do this, then you see that we are having first number is the file name or the program we are running. After that, we have the add 45 and 55. So all these three things which we have given. Now, let's use this tactic and we want to get the individual one. So what if we say, give me the zeroth one. So zero index is the name of our program. But one thing to notice here, we are getting some. Okay, so you see, if I say, hey, create a first as the one which we want to get and we get it like this, then if I save it, it's an option. Now we are getting the option and we can use this option to print out everything we want. But we are interested in the first one after the cargo run. So if I say add, then we should do something on the addition part. Otherwise we should say like, if we have something like this, we should say, hey, uh, command not found, okay. So we need to do once again the match for first and here we say there is some. So if we're getting something CMD, then let's just print out the command which we get like this. And otherwise we need to say, hey, there is some problem. That means uh, command not found. Okay, that's the easy thing. Let's do it. So if I say something like this, it says, mm, no, I don't want to do this. So in that case, we need to have if condition here also. Now, there has to be something like this and say that if command is equal to add, then we are going to do something else. We say once again, print, and we are going to print with command not found or it, here we say something went wrong. Okay. Now this is the thing and we print the command. So if we are having other than add, we say command not found. But if we have the add, yep, we have the add. But now what? Once we know that what we are getting, we can start asking people for the number. But let's first do that. 45 and 55 things. So how we get the number here, 45 and 55, just like we get the add, we can get the 45 and the 55. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, let num1 is equal to arcs.get for second index and num2 will be for the third index, obviously. But once again, these are in option form. So what you can do, you can just say unwrap. It, it will directly provide you whatever the string we have. But we don't want to get in the form of a string. We want to get in the form of a number, the i32. So we say, hey, uh, just trim it. And then 
just parse it. So we say parse and parsing on i32 and call it. So let's do the same thing on the num2. Whoa, we get result. Okay, so once again, we need the unwrap. A lot of things. Yep. So unwrap. You see, we are having i32 and we are unwrapping on the string, then we are trimming, then we are converting the number and then once again, we are unwrapping. And finally, we say print the sum of these two numbers. So number one and number two is whatever we pass third. So num1, num2 and num1 plus num2. So this is going to be interesting. Let's run it. And we run it. Boom. We say the sum of 45 and 55 is 100. Isn't it cool? But what if user has not written anything? Then it's going to be a problem. So in that case, we say that, hey, if user has not given this uh, like argument two or three, then we're going to ask for the input. In that case, we can create another function, uh, not like this, <laughs> I'm not on the JavaScript. So this function will say perform addition. So we say perform addition addition like this. Okay. And here we can put all these code like this and do it here. Now we need the arcs. That's simple. And we say perform addition passing out the argument and it says missing the parameter type and parameter type we can get it like vector of strings. So it's a vector string. Now this is good and let's once again verify it and uh, yes it's working. Now what next? If we don't have these two, then we are going to ask. So first of all, we need a check. If arcs.get for the second is sum. So we say sum and arcs.get for third one is sum. Then only we do this thing. Okay. Else we are going to ask for the numbers. Remember how we do that? So let mutable input one is equal to uh, a string new. So this is the this is from the previous tutorial we did. And now we're going to say IO STD dot not like that STD input dot read line uh, read underscore line and we perform we provide the input one and as we are writing we just say unwrap so that we don't have to do the matching and we are on the input two then we convert the num one and we say input one dot trim dot parse uh, parsing on the i32 calling it dot unwrap a lot of things and same for the num2 and then here, first of all, we say, hey, uh, like this, print line, enter first number, okay, like this. And then once we have that, then we do something like this. And then we say, enter second number, and we perform something like this. And finally, we do something crazy at this level. So num1, num2, and we are here. Great, Pro our program is ready. So if we provide like this, yes, that's great. And if we are saying like this, we are not providing any argument of the numbers, then we say 45, 55, and the sum is 100. How, wow, so, so powerful and so clean. That's really what we want. But what if we provide something as a string? then it say hey first number uh, i'll still pass a string now we have the error so obviously you can uh, instead of doing the unwrap you can do the match and on the match you can handle out the errors 
Great. So that's about the ENV, how we can read from the command line and perform any operation we want. So that's really great. And if this video is helpful for you, just hit a like and comment your views about the Rust, what you are learning and what you are interested in. We will see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.